Hello all, welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a long time since I have last posted and here it is, a new Windows Defender Bypass video to share. In this video, we will be showcasing Super Mega, a stealthy shell code injector by Dobin. This tool uses the Cordyceps technique to inject your malicious shellcode into a legitimate PE binary like an EXE executable file. It has some pretty nice features as listed here. References are provided whereby the implementation of the tool is further explained with great details. So if you are interested in the final workings of the tool, do give it a read. The posts are pretty well written. Apparently, this super mega tool has also been presented by the author Dobin himself at the HITB Hack in the Box Security Conference in Bangkok, Thailand, 2024 last year. Again, do read through the slides at your own time to understand the tool better. We will not be reading off the references and the slides in the video. The Super Mega tool has a pretty nice UI component hosted by a web application. The GitHub page has all the necessary details you need to get started. This will require Visual Studio packages and components listed over here. The tricky part will be getting the requirements of the tool correctly so that you can begin using the tool itself. So first of all, you will need Python installed on your Windows machine. I have already installed Python as shown on my screen here. In order to install the Visual Studio packages, you should have Visual Studio Community installed. It will come with this Visual Studio installer, which you can use to install additional packages. Here, you can click on Modify. Go to the C++ development and make sure the packages that are required are all selected. I have already installed them on my Windows machine. Once that is done, you should be good to go. PIP pipe should come installed with Python as shown over here. Now let's download the code repository and give it a try. Google Chrome is being annoying, blocking the download. Let's download the project file with PowerShell wget instead. All good. Now let's extract the files. Following the README page on GitHub, we should install the Python dependencies with pip.exe. I have already installed the required packages. Next, you should open up the Visual Studio native command prompt and set the appropriate path configurations by calling the vcvars or .bat file as stated in the readme page. Once that is done, we should be able to launch the web interface of the tool by running web.py with Python. Let's browse to localhost at port 5001. Awesome. Let's add a project to get started. Like and subscribe. Sounds nice. So basically, you select the payload which is the shellcode that you want to inject and you select the file to be injected. This is pretty intuitive. These files are all loaded from the data binary directory on your Windows machine. Alright, now let's hop over to our Kali machine and generate our own Metapreter reverse shell. 
Let's spin up the metaprita listener for it on a separate window. Let's transfer the shellcode generated via SCP onto our Windows machine. We have to place the shellcode into the data binary shellcodes directory for the web application to load it. Let's refresh the page. It should show the newly added 8443.bin shellcode file. Let's leave the rest as default, injecting into the 7z.exe file and the other options as it is. Windows Defender has been triggered. It seems that Windows Defender is detecting the shellcode 8443.bin file and not the final payload produced by the tool. Let's create a Windows Defender exclusion first for the Super Mega directory. We will move the final payload outside of the Windows Defender exclusion later on to show the Windows Defender bypass. It seems that the web application crashed. Let's restart it. Hmm, the error is still there. I think it is trying to select the 8443.bin file but it has already been deleted by Windows Defender. Anyway, let's create another project. It should work. Alright, now let's transfer the Metaprinter shellcode file 8443.bin again onto our Windows machine. Error injecting executable. No hole found in code section to fit payload. Hmm. Let's change the payload location from R data to text instead. Awesome. It is successful now. The final payload has been produced by the Super Mega tool as 7z.injected.exe. Now let's move this payload out of Windows Defender exclusion and onto our desktop folder instead. Okay, this Windows Defender review dialog prompt is expected because we have automatic submission turned off. Let's show and prove that Windows Defender is indeed working on the desktop folder by generating a Metaprida reverse shell exe payload file and transferring it onto our Windows desktop folder. As shown in the screen, the Metaprida payload.exe file is immediately detected but not our Super Mega Produce 7z.infected.exe payload file. We can even perform a manual Windows Defender scan on it. Nice, no threads found, no detection at all from Windows Defender. Now let's execute it by double clicking on it. Awesome, we have a Metaprinter callback on our Kali console. Nice, we have successfully bypassed Windows Defender with the Super Mega tool. This tool should be about a year old now and it is still working against the latest Windows Defender. Pretty nice. Alright all, I hope you all have found the video to be useful. All credits belong to the author of the tool and all of the references shown will be provided in the video's description so be sure to check it out. A quick shout out to my most recent supporter on my buy me a coffee page. Many thanks to J Memo for the beers. It is very much appreciated. Cheers. Alright, this is it. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.